also li linked me to the persons who were already from academicians to uh, data science roles. At that time, I felt uh, very confident that even, yeah, I can also uh, pursue in this and uh, get a career transition. So I can say data mites have, uh, from day one, they have uh, inspired me through their success stories. And uh, I have uh, led through this, all this uh, journey. Very happy to see that after you saw the success story within five, six months, you have become a success story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and start inspiring others. Glad. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, that's, uh, I mean, from my experience, it's usually take seven to eight months uh, to a year. Yeah. Your switch yeah. is quick. I understand you have a PhD, so that would have really helped you to get into this domain. But apart yeah. from that, from a learning perspective, uh, what you have done, um, uh, I mean, uh, you can you can share the things, data mites, and I'm also interested to see what are the other things you have done apart from what data mites provided that will be useful for the uh, viewers. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, data mites, first, uh, when you look into the, uh, the syllabus uh, of the course, uh, which I have done in certification of data science. So uh, uh, that uh, course, they have uh, uh, given all the things which uh, you need to uh, go for a data science role. So uh, they have uh, uh, online sessions. So online sessions, the mentor was uh, explaining it and we had the hands-on training. So hands-on training was very uh, useful because we were doing once the uh, concept is being explained, then and there itself, we were uh, doing the practical work of it. So this hands-on sessions along with the mentor explanation, the first they have given what are all the fundamentals uh, based uh, related to statistics, Python, SQL, R, Tableau, all this, they have given the basics, then they have gone to the machine learning algorithms. So each of these machine learning algorithms, they have explained the code, they have explained the concept and then the code, and we were doing the practical work there and we started applying. So it's uh, the first part is learning through online live sessions. Then I can say the practical exposure where it comes more from the projects. So uh, while doing the projects, it was like a teamwork. So four to five students, are four, uh, we were a team and we were given the projects. So, uh, we have the capstone projects and the live projects. At that time, the learning was more because we were working in a team and there was a knowledge transfer and uh, uh, it helped me to uh, explore. Like uh, uh, we were writing the course, we were exchanging our course, we were discussing on it. Uh, I think uh, you can write a better code than me. I can do it better than you. Like that, uh, we have brought out our reports and uh, uh, these projects we were given grading. So. Uh, during the projects, we were thinking of, okay, which of the algorithms I can apply? So which is the better algorithm? So there was more learning during the project's time. So after this online sessions and the projects, uh, Data Mites team have conducted some mock tests, okay? So to test the knowledge, what you have learned all this time, and then there were mock interviews. So each of it has some weightage. So after this mock uh, test and mock interviews, they will give a score, a job ready score, an assessment score. So they have a threshold for it. So if you are ready, with, if you have crossed that threshold, then they ask you, so whether I am ready for applying for the jobs, okay? And then comes your placement team. So the placement team was very helpful for me. So uh, before I go for the placement team and all this, during the projects, I wanted to tell you, uh, there was a platform called as D-Tribe. So that uh, helped me a lot during the projects because uh, whenever we have our doubts, we just post our doubts there. So whenever we are stuck, uh, we post uh, there and we are getting prompt replies from them. So that D-Tribe is not only for clearing your doubts, it, they also post uh, some of the learning which we need to do. And when you post few things, uh, which uh, others don't know, they learn from it. What you do not know, we can learn from uh, what others have given. Uh, 
so it was a very good learning and uh, data mites team have a uh, uh, very good mentors who were always uh, helping and supporting us so d tribe also has helped me and then uh, we have uh, actually very yeah. glad that d tribe yeah. helped it was yeah. a initiative two years ago there yeah. is there are a lot of communities outside so we were always thinking about should we host in another one does it really help because you know there are so many communities which are uh, doing the q and a so i'm glad to know that d tribe is also helpful which makes it uh, yeah it, it makes it successful um, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you refer uh, i mean um, when when you did, did you apply for jobs outside or directly from the data mites place uh, directly from my data mites uh, team so uh, and it was my first application Okay, so you didn't uh -huh. have an opportunity to apply from yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of other questions are got because one of the things which particularly people are interested in is to what's the channel you apply through. Um, yeah. In your case, yeah, it's a data mites placement team, so that yeah. is quite forward. So, is it your first uh, job interview with the placement? Yes, it it is or my it was my first. And then, uh, no, it was my first one where uh, where I was motivated by the placement team. So once I got it, I just grabbed the opportunity. Okay, excellent. So, uh, so there is not much of learning in that area then, because usually people take uh, five to six uh, turns. You are an exception, so that, that's very good. <laughs> Glad for you. All right. So uh, there are a lot of other people who are in academics, who are in PhD, who have spent a lot of time in other domains. Very skeptic about switching to data science. Uh, especially uh, thinking that maybe they have to restart as a fresher. Um, I know I'm being a mentor and being in this field. That's not true because data science is a horizontal. But I want to hear from your perspective. Uh, after being so long doing a PhD and, yeah. and, and a senior profile, yeah. when you come to uh, data science, what was your thought process? Uh, actually, uh, I have a good amount of experience in uh, teaching. And uh, when I started this uh, course, and this, uh, when once uh, I started applying for this uh, job opportunities, so I was uh, given an opportunity for a fresher level because this is entirely a different domain uh, where I, I had to go as a fresher. But uh, what uh, I have thought is, uh, let me take this opportunity and uh, just uh, start my career because this uh, career transition uh, you, uh, is very, uh, uh, I, I mean to say, so you have to be very careful. So what I thought is, okay, let me start as a fresher here. And uh, I have gone through the interviews and uh, I was uh, placed as an intern in the beginning. And uh, they have told me that after six months, we will uh, look into the uh, work. And uh, within two months, I have been converted to a data analyst in a full-time role. So I'm very happy to share with you this. Okay, that's a very good point. Uh, you, di you did get a higher salary than previous, but that's not because yeah. that's mm -hmm. not because you negotiated. It's because you took an opportunity and proved yourself, isn't it? Yes, yes. It was a bold decision taken by me as a fresher. Thank and, you for uh, becoming another example. And today I'm happy that uh, I am fine in all ways. Right. Thank you for becoming another example for, for me because I keep saying this. Mm -hmm. It's not about your first negotiation when you're switching your career. You might get uh, 50 lakhs, 20 lakhs, and you cannot think about 30 lakhs uh, with a 50, 60 percent hike when you're switching career. But yes, yeah. once you go there, you prove yourself, maybe within a year, you can reach your dream figure. So yeah. which you actually proved. Thank you for that. Um, Thank you. I, 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 I don't have um, many questions uh, for you because you are actually a straight through. If someone struggled and get into it, <laughs> there is a lot of learning. Right. In your case, but actually... I think data mites have supported me very much in this uh, transition phase. I should thank first. Yeah, I'm I'm happy for uh, for data mites team as well. I congratulate Farzana and the placements team. Any open suggestion you have for uh, aspiring learners? Yeah, Renault. sure. Yeah, sure. So uh, for the aspiring learners, I will say so. Once you enroll in the course, take your time. Uh, 
go through because the data mites uh, have planned a very good uh, syllabus and uh, uh, the curriculum all this step by step it is a very nice process they have done and they also have as i have told the deep drive community the placement assessment team so all these will help you so first of all uh, learn the basics learn the fundamentals of this course and uh, once you feel uh, suppose if you have finished the class today take two to three hours extra time it is based upon uh, how good you are at okay suppose if you are just a fresher you take some more time but uh, just do not leave it just uh, listening the course and leaving will not help you you should uh, do hard work there should be dedication and the most thing the uh, you should have the passion for it okay and not only this you check uh, uh, the other links what is going on okay so knowledge uh, accumulate uh, is very much important so uh, i say dedication and hard work and passionate about it will uh, lead you to success maybe for, for few people it may take uh, five to six months few it may take eight months from few it may take one year and data my team is always ready to help you at every step okay so you are stuck at a step you ask them so unless you ask nobody knows where you are there okay so don't leave it you uh, start working on it and uh, uh, definitely you will uh, achieve your goals thank you for your words uh, pranava and i fully agree with you <clears throat> it's a uh, trainer and uh, facility is one thing but it mostly comes to an individual uh, who take an initiative to use the facilities and you did it well and your message is also very clear for other learners um, so i thank you very much i i don't know if i have any questions from youtube or other channels data mites team do you have any questions for pranava coming from other channels just check out I have I have no further questions. Yeah. And the panel also shared her uh, messages. How important is statistics, right? I mean, how depth we need to go into statistics? Yeah. Uh, statistics. Uh, you know the learn the fundamentals related to statistics the terminology the definitions uh, because based upon this uh, the definitions and the terminology uh, while you are applying in algorithms you get across this you need to know what is the meaning of it so we will be given the thorough training of what is a necessary in statistics so statistics is very important Okay. Uh, again, um, rightly said, essential statistics is important. It doesn't need to be a researcher level statistics with all kinds of hypothesis testing and sampling. It's not required. But for a data scientist, statistics from a data analysis, data uh, preparation, and you know, getting some insights because initially descriptive analytics is really important. Descriptive analytics to understand the data. Then comes machine learning and other things. Even for feature engineering, descriptive analytics, understanding the data, that is done by statistics. So statistics is essential. At, uh, it's, it's required at essential level with a very strong foundation. That should be good enough. Uh, Bhavya Rajan have a question. Please share some interview questions. All right. And the pattern of interview. I was expecting this question, actually. Thank you, Bhavya. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you look into the mode of interview, what has been done for me, so I was given uh, an online test. So in the online test, because this is a data analyst role, they have checked my statistics knowledge as well as uh, they were questions related to SQL, Oracle, and uh, little about Python. Okay, so they have uh, given a few queries, uh, uh, a few questions, and we were asked to write the code. And uh, if at all there was any mistake, I was uh, given like uh, I need to recheck it. So statistics, SQL, uh, Python uh, were most of the questions for this role which I was asked. Uh, this was for the uh, uh, test 
the online test which was being conducted. And next coming for the interview level. So interview level also, I was shut more on SQL where I was given some tables and I was asked to uh, draw some information related to it. And I was asked to uh, uh, tell the query related to it, how you like uh, in SQL you have this, okay? So that I was asked and the same thing, how I can uh, write it in Python, okay? SQL and Python, they have uh, tested me during the uh, interview session. And apart from this, uh, there was one more round uh, where uh, I was given a case study and that case study I had to execute and a report I have to generate. Uh, after this, I had the HR. So these were the process. It was the online test, then the uh, interview round, technical interview round, then the HR. Okay, uh, we have a thank from Bobia. Thank you from me as well. Um, any other questions, Edomite's team? All right, so great. So as I always say, this is not um, um, a one-time engagement, uh, Pranava. Uh, I have people who have switched careers five years before, my, 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 my students, um, they are, we are still working together. Some of them has brought us a lot of projects to us yeah, <laughs> as, okay. as a company, right? So we're going to be in touch and I'm oh, going to sure. reach you for, uh, I mean, we're going to work in other other aspects and also maybe helping um, uh, learners. Um, so I wish you all the best Thank and uh, I help you. Uh, I, I, am, I, I also uh, congratulate Datamite's team. Yeah, at this uh, point, I just want to say a word to you. I remember during the first class, you have given me a lot of confidence, quoting few of the examples. So that day started uh, my journey to this uh, success. So I thank you for motivating me and for the constant support you have given. My pleasure. I'm glad. All right. Uh, I have one last question from Vinod. Maybe we can take this. If you mention... ME in resume from other core, it's make any problem to get a job, ma'am. So you mean ME is a master's in engineering? Maybe that could be. Maybe. Uh, right? Yeah. So, so oh yeah, I understand the question. The question is straightforward. Yeah, you are from electrical, right? Electronics. Yeah. So if you mention electrical electronics in your resume, does it have a problem? I mean, you don't have a problem, but maybe you should give a yeah, answer for it. Yeah. Yeah, actually what happened was uh, I have uh, while doing my PhD, while doing my master's and as an academician, uh, whatever I have worked on, I have put because the, some of the algorithms I have used and uh, I have also MATLAB coding. So I have put whatever I have studied, I have just put it in my resume. Apart from that, uh, some of the students I have mentored uh, related because uh, data science application, you can apply it to various fields, uh, like uh, uh, as an electrical background. So some of my students, they have applied uh, for battery life cycle prediction, solar irradiation forecasting, uh, and uh, demand forecasting. So it's not that you are learning this for your career transition or for your career. You can learn this and apply in various fields, I see. So data science is a very good role. So I don't uh, think if you have uh, put your master's or PhD degree, what is the data science projects or that thing you have done during this period? If you mention it, it would be an added advantage. So that uh, forms an uh, experience for you. All right, hope that answers. Thank you, Datamite's team. Uh, thank you, Pranava. Um, thank you. you can take over, uh, Datamite's team, over is there. If not, I'll thank everyone and have a very good day. All the best, Pranava, again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Datamite's team and Ashok, sir. And I should mention uh, Farsana, my mentors, Deepa, ma'am, Suhail, sir, and uh, Subangi, madam for helping me out here and uh, a special mention to Jassi ma'am also. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.